I would say hospitality to me is all about experience and culture. It's about being humble and being your best for others. It's about matching the experience you would want and the values you have with being the other side of the bar. Probably the people. Like, we're always for the people. I would say craft every coffee with general and humble attitude. It means the world. No, no it does, because you just meet so many people and you can just make someone stay a bit better. Because I remember when I was first doing it for a little while, I was like, oh, no. And then uh, I thought maybe I'll get some meaning. But then I realised like hospitality has a lot of meaning. You meet the same people every day, you become a part of the life. You might like change one's day just with a little convo. It just gives you, it makes you feel alive every day. They were some of the uh, longest one way down to Oh, they one wear dances? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh. Hello, no. You can have the best roasters, you can feature the best beans, you can have the best baristas, but if there's no customer service there, then it will always be limited, whereas if you can fuse the two together, then that always leads to the best outcome, in my opinion. We want people to be able to enjoy the craft we make. Even though we can make an amazing cup of coffee, but without customer, we are nothing. So, um, I keep coming back because Adam, he pay lots of attention into every single detail, as in like, the water quality, the cup that he serves, those beans he chews and the keg. He's really happy to answer every single question. He's keen to help. Yeah, that's the reason why. Our customers are very much on the journey with us. So celebrating by having a garden party with live music every year is a really fun way to do it. I think it's important that baristas build relationships and connect with their customers because without that, it's a very transactional interaction. You don't get any deeper meaning or level of interaction than just, oh, how are you, mate? How's your day? If they're asking you questions about your life that matter, you feel like you're known, you feel like you're more important to them than just another face or another set of feet through the door. It's a much nicer experience. Presbos brings a, you know, a space for people to come and to chill out, hang out. You know, there's more than coffee going on. There's events here sometimes as well. So people can literally come and get together and you know hang out together it's more than a it's more than a coffee shop it's a community it's a hub for people to come to baristas in general are awesome at what they do the early mornings the late night constantly engaging with a plethora of different people city workers to cleaners and everybody in between we see people in like all kinds of transitions of life and it helps everybody come in they know that they're going to get someone who's serving them who understands them no matter what they're going through, at least one of us has been through that or is going through that. And it's so helpful to everybody. We understand what's going on. It's kind of where we start our day, um, you know, as early as we can be here. There's someone who's always going to know who you are, who's going to know what your order is, who's going to know whether you have kids, what their preference is, and more importantly, just how to deal with you and how to deal with the people that you bring into the shop. As soon as I walk in, they kind of suss by what I'm wearing, who I'm with, and adapt to it straight away. They know whether I'm with a client, then they'll put me in a booth at the back somewhere, so it's a little bit quieter, a little bit more intimate, so that not everybody's listening to you. And with my girlfriends, and we're going to be really loud and noisy, they can put me anywhere, because we're probably going to cause chaos. It's about being humble and recognising that everybody has a busy schedule, and we have an opportunity to give these people a positive start to the day. The most important thing for a barista to remember is that people are not coming for the thing that they are paying for anymore. They're coming in for the thing that they can't pay for, and that's your time. The main reason I come by, I think it, it's about the staff. Honestly, every time I open those doors, it's always great vibes, you've got good music, you've got nice smiles from people. I love like hanging out, talking to Luke, you know, he always here and we always talk about life, we talk about what is happening on the day. I love hanging out, yeah. What keeps me coming back here is that relationships are built with the staff. To be fair, I've got to give them credit for that because I'm the customer, I can come in, pay for my things and that's that. But they will ask me questions like, how was that shoot today? And let's say if I've if I'm if I've come in in the afternoon and I'm showing a bit of like stress and they'll ask like, are you okay? I said, oh, I've just got a lot of work going on. 
and then a day or two later, the same staff member will remember and will ask, how's that editing going or how's that shoot going? So that care and attention is very important, very important. I think if you think of Press Bros, you think about the people who are here, the people who serve you on a day-to-day -day basis, they're always here with, like, you know, with a big smile on their face and etc. for the day. The coffee shop's made by the people that are in there every day. It's an extension of Beth and Hannah being good people, that they want others to succeed as well. For me, my outlook is that if everyone helps each other out a little bit more, we'd all be a little bit further forward. I'm not one for getting overly competitive. We're surrounded by other coffee shops, but I'm not one who looks for rivals. I just see opportunities there to help everyone move forward together. Coffee is a worldwide language. It doesn't matter your nationality, it doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter your skin color, it's just a language. That's why I've fallen in love with the industry because I can use coffee as a tool to communicate with every person in the world. Do you see people more than your own family? So it's like, you know, really, you are, you are closer to you. And it's like, and I think like this, your coffee shop becomes a second home. And like the people that are in here, the people that you want, the they are your family. And you always want to help them out, give the extra mile for them, put a lot of smile on the face. But they put a smile on our face. That's what gets us through the day a lot of times. And so you're just as much of a part as they are as well. It's like it's a it's a relationship, like a family.